Hey everyone. Today I am going to be telling you all about the history of Disney acquisitions. Now, we're going to start off with 2004. We're going to go 2004 onward and then we'll go backwards to now remember this video is only the acquisitions that I know. So we're going to start the list off in 2004. Disney acquired the Muppets. Michael Eisner was CEO at the time. They went to a restaurant formerly called Downtown Disney and they were sitting at a table when they made the deal. I don't know exactly when this deal was. But I will just say 2004. Moving on to 2006, Disney acquired Pixar. $7.4 billion, I believe the deal was. And Bob Iger was named CEO. Late 2005, he overtook Michael Eisner and he bought Pixar. Now let's move on to 2009. 2009, Disney bought Marvel. The Marvel acquisition, there's a ruling to it because in 1994, Universal got Marvel and there's the Marvel licensing agreement. And the Marvel licensing agreement clearly states that anything east of the Mississippi River, Disney is not allowed to use Marvel characters Except Guardians of the Galaxy, Big Hero 6, and Doctor Strange. Those characters are available for use because, you know, they're east of the Mississippi River. I don't technically, I don't know this Marvel licensing agreement too well. But I'll get into the details. But basically, anything east of the Mississippi River, Disney is allowed... To use Guardians, Doctor Strange, Big Hero 6. Those are characters that can be used at Disney World. Now, when you're talking about West of the Mississippi River West, those characters, those Marvel characters, any Marvel character is able to be used at Disneyland. When you're talking about East of the Mississippi River, that's a different story. Except for those three films. There may be more due to this Fox deal. I'm sure that... Because Disney brought 20th Century Fox in 2019. More about that in a minute. And they claim some Marvel characters too. Moving on to 2012. Disney buys Lucasfilm. I believe it was $7 billion. The Marvel acquisition in 2009 was $4 billion. The Lucasfilm acquisition sold with George Lucas, got Disney, Star Wars, Indiana Jones. And I'm not sure if they purchased LucasArts. But there's, a, but there's a petition online right now that states that Disney should get LucasArts. I don't know if they got it. But... During this Fox deal, which was in 2019 in March, they actually claimed the Skywalker sound. Now moving on to the next big acquisition that I know. First off, let's move into 2017. Disney buys BAM Tech. They get 75% of it for their streaming platforms. Next, we go to 2019, when Disney, when Disney got, when Disney bought 20th Century Fox for 71.3 billion dollars. That deal included so much. I'm just gonna go the, over the Marvel parts and the Star Wars parts and some other deals of it. They got the Simpsons streaming rights. They got the Skywalker. Skywalker sound. They got Deadpool. They got the X-Men. They got the Fantastic Four. 
according to multiple social media platforms that I've been listening to, they say, it says that, uh, it says that Disney actually got, it says that Disney got the X-Men and that was the streaming rights. The Fantastic Four, I'm not sure about. But I think they may have gotten the streaming rights for the Fantastic Four. I know they for sure got Deadpool. Some other key parts of the deal was they got the Avatar movies. Grossed a lot of money at the box office. They got um, a variety of other movies. Now we're going to go back. Oh, and they let's talk about the television. They got FX. They got National Geographic in this deal. And they got a 30% share of Hulu, which if you look at today, it has upgraded and now Disney owns Hulu until 2024 when Comcast can call back to get Hulu. Put on call agreement, they called it. Now let's move into 2012, some of the acquisitions that I didn't mention. 2012, Disney got A&E. I still don't know if they have A&E because there's very minimum info on this. But if you know that Disney sold A&E, let me know in the comments down below. I do know that they sold off their Europe networks to Harst. So, what happened was Disney brought A&E in 2012. They have a 50% equity with the Hearts Corporation. And they have Fist Life Entertainment, which is producing IPD the most watts so on all history. In the history of A&E. So now let's turn the clock back to 1996, before 2004. Disney bought ABC, and with that deal, according to the deal, it gave them 80% of ESPN. But according to what's going on on the media, they fully own a they fully own ESPN, according to what I hear on the media. Is that true? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so that is all of my Disney acquisition history that I know of. And there's one more acquisition that I'm going to go over two more acquisitions. So, Disney was trying to purchase the Jim Henson Company. Michael Eisner was CEO at the time. They tried to purchase the Jim Henson Company, but that deal did not go through. Since Jim Henson passed away suddenly in May of 1990. So that deal never went through. Because Jim Henson passed. And then. Saban Entertainment sold. And then in 2005. Disney got the Power Rangers. Disney bought the rights to the Power Rangers. With the company owned. Saban Entertainment. So they were able to be seen at Disney MGM Studios now, Disney Hollywood Studios. They would come out to the former Streets of America to do a mini show and meet and greet. They went on a parade route until 2008. But Disney was getting tired of the Power Rangers by the late 2000s. So they canceled the television show in 2009. And then in 2010... Disney sold the rights back to the original owners, to the Power Rangers. So there you go, that's all the Disney acquisition, uh, acquisition history I have for you guys today. I hope you guys learned something. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoy making it.